Hi guys, it's me. It is uh, June 25th, 2014. Hail and Mary to all of you. Of course, this warm, tepid day here on Winston, Connecticut. I'm at the Sip Kitchen like usual. Today, we're going to talk about a couple brief things. First of all, just a reminder, if you want to be part of a live telephone or if you're local, live in person interview with me in Lumi, um, you need to have your sample question, your first name and telephone number into me and mail to B-I-C-H-E-L-A three at gmail.com no later than midnight july 4th 2014. um i will be selecting the entrant on july 5th and i will contact the entrant uh, to arrange for a date and time for us to get together or even if it's by phone um this is contest is open for u.s citizens uh, at this point, there may be a future we'll do an international. Um, for right now, it's open for U.S. citizens. And the uh, requirement, of course, is that you have a fairly fluent ability to speak American and or British English. Um, one or the other. You can, be, you can speak both. That's great, too. I don't have a problem with that. Um, now, uh, in addition to that, we have a few other reminders for you as well. Um, and Elsa from Frozen will be on Once Upon a Time starting in the fourth season, starting in September. Uh, she will be one of the main characters on the show. Uh, Disney's um, Frozen right now is making a blockbuster, um, I think it's making a record amount of money. It made $1.3 billion so far worldwide. 1.3 billion, that's a B, not an M, dollars worldwide. And it's doing very well in Japan, and it's it's overtaking, uh, I think it's Taken or something like that. It's really, really um, doing very well in Asia right now. And uh, in addition to that, of course, we will be seeing a new season of, of uh, Hollywood Hillbillies starting on August 5th on Reels, R E E Z R E -E R E E L Z channel. That's $2.99 on Dish Network. And uh, for those of you who wonder what channel Once Upon a Time is on, it's on in the local area where I live. It's ABC Networks on Channel 8 over the air antenna. And um, it's on Sunday nights. Uh, I believe it's either 8 or 9 p.m. You have to check your local listings, please. Um, in September, I'll be starting the new series, our uh, new season. Oh, boy. Where do we go? I keep trying to get these videos in, and I keep screwing up because this time I got the really good video really good last time, but then the stupid alarm clock came up, ran, started ringing on my phone, and I basically blocks up my push my video, which kind of sucks. Why can't you guys, Apple, have made this so at least when I'm doing a video, keep the clock quiet, you know, or at least maybe just put a little reminder on my screen or corner of my screen so I know that there was an alert scheduled and I obviously would have appreciated a lot better. Um, but that would be a wonderful topic for tonight, um, for a video what I'm going to be doing sooner or later. Now, of course, it's summer, and people are out there having fun, having a good time, and might as well start to discuss with you of weather safety, um, because some people especially forget that you should be keep kept hydrated. Uh, when I say hydrated, I don't mean inbreed with beer and alcohol, okay? That's not at all good for you. But good old clean drinking water and fresh fruit juices is the best choice. Make sure to drink plenty. I don't, I, I mean, depending on which part of the country you're in, you might be able to get away with a liter. But if you're really not sure, and if you're really hot, it's really sweating coming out of you, drink two to three liters of water a day. And the um, uh, thing to consider is the, um, well, if you can't stay out of this direct sun, it hurts your eyes, it hurts your body, it hurts your skin. 
unless you're wearing sunblock and sunglasses. If you've got sunblock and sunglasses on, still try to minimize exposure, especially if you are light-haired like me or light-skinned like me, whichever one it may be for you. Um, wear loose-fitting clothing so that your body can get fresh air and cool itself off. Women, you should probably wear, well, actually men too, you can wear a, a, a light pair of shorts and a light t-shirt and um, things like that, that's fine. Um, it's, it's okay if you, you know, if you look at like you're going to the beach, because that's another good place to go during the heat, is the beach. If you haven't have access to the beach, use the resources to um, have some fun in the sun with sunscreen, please. And, of course, with um, proper consideration of looking out for bad weather, like thunderstorms. Remember, lightning strikes kill people. Not quite as much as airplanes do, but they certainly do a number on a lot of people. So if you see a lightning storm developing in your area, get out of harm's way. Please make sure to uh, take shelter in a building or lower down. And um, If you are in a field and you cannot get any lower than you are, then um, lay flat on the ground. At least that will make you less of a target. Um, if you start to feel like your hair starting to stand on end, you're really in deep trouble, okay? Because that means that the lightning strike is potentially in your area, it is energizing, and if it is, it's, you mean that you might become part of the circuit. So that's not at all good, okay? So ideally, you want to be out of um, harm's way. Because remember, lightning can even strike even if the sky is clear. Ask, any, ask several golfers that have found out the hard way when they were sticking up their their putting t um, their nine iron, and all of a sudden they find out that all of a sudden they created a giant lightning rod. Uh, it's really serious, and unfortunately, it really does happen. Um, what else? I think I pretty much nailed it. I think I pretty much did too. Um, also, don't forget, of course, keep your eyes open for trouble and try to stay out of it. I guess that's the best thing I can tell you. Also, keep your eyes on this channel for new updates, new videos, new topics, new ideas. By, like, by sharing the video with your friends, subscribing to the channel, and of course, you know, nice to know if you like the video so you can click like, or maybe you don't. Okay, click dislike in that case. At least that gives you an idea of uh, what it is with the video you may or may not like about it. And I can work on it and try to improve it as we go. Well, I guess that's about it. Oh, yeah. I got one thing I dislike. I dislike these handheld shots. I really do. I really wish somebody would... I mean, I got to get a tripod for this iPhone because, frankly, it's killing my arm. Um, but I do try. Okay? So, anyway, till later. Bye-bye, everybody.